Hey guys! Uh, I am making my daily post. I'm gonna try and stop saying uh so much on these things. It's not very good screen presence, is it? The air in Hanoi is really bad today. You can see the haze. Um, it's a very hot day. And uh, I think it's hot because they just want to like drive home the fact that it's September and it's still going to be hot. Um, anyway, though, it's a holiday. It's uh, supposed to be the Spirit Festival in China, and Terry was like, I don't know what that is. And here, it was something called, it was something like the Ghost Festival, which I guess is supposed to be, you know, kind of the same thing. Um, which is not the same as their, like, Day of the Dead, where you remember your ancestors. Um, so I don't know what it is. He didn't know either. Um, I think it's so funny, and even in Chenzhou, there'd be some holiday on the calendar, and we'd ask Chinese people, and they'd be like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but, um, anyway, it's also, um, uh, Vietnamese Independence Day. I did no research. I'm guessing that's independence from France. Um... Maybe I'll do some research later on. Um, but on holidays, people like to burn things. I walk into the street and they'll burn little pieces of paper and stuff. And um, that has made that makes the air really bad in the big city because everybody's doing it. Um, we went out for a nice lunch today, and I signed up for. Zoom so I can do interviews with new with adult students for the adult class. So that's good. Now I gotta get home and put together the adult class. I'm gonna have to put together some um, classes before I do the curriculum. That's that's what I'm talking about here. Everything is backwards here. They're, they're like, go ahead and put the classes together. They don't even care about the curriculum, that's all me. Um, this is a very snap because I didn't have anything at the house. And I went, we went and ate at this really good place that I ate at every morning during the uh, pandemic. I mean, during the lockdown. Um, I keep saying during the pandemic like it's over. But during the lockdown, uh, I'd eat this place every day. Which tells you it really weren't locked down all that much. Oh, you know what? It wasn't during the lockdown. It was right, right after the lockdown when I was still in the hotel. Before I found a place to live, I would go to eat at this place. It was so good. So good, I kind of eat this Oreo thing. Um, and so we went and ate, ate lunch there today. And uh, like a dummy, I forgot to take pictures. Because I'm sure I'll go back. <laughs> but if this year has taught me anything, it's don't assume you're going to have a next time doing something. <laughs> I didn't think I'd live in Chenzhou forever, but I didn't think it would, leaving would be a surprise. Surprise you don't live here anymore. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I'll have to get videos in this place. This food is so good. It's so good you can see how good it is. <laughs> that's why I'll take video on it. Um, no, that's not true. It's good. Um, it's this little soup thing. Sorry, I'm not in the circle, okay? Thank you. We're just going to take a walk around the island while I tell you about what's been happening. Okay. Nothing's really been happening. I'm just give my daily update. Um, okay, so well, then we went and did that, and um, then we went out to the, Mal to, uh, to the Maldives, to this place called Mal Maldives Cafe. Um, and uh, it's a good little cafe. Sorry about that. A little cafe. It's right on West Lake. You get a nice breeze off the lake because it was hot today. We had a couple of beers. We were these kids. 
There were these kids next to us who were getting stoned. <laughs> it smelled very good. I don't think Terry knows what it is. Because <laughs> I smelled it several times and he's like, hmm. He doesn't mention it. Anyway. Um... So, so, oh, so here's the thing. Um, that bike mount I talked about getting, I was talking about it to Terry today. He's like, he's like, well, I don't want mine. You want it? I'm like, okay. He's been riding around apparently with one in his, uh, in his uh, little storage compartment in his bike for who knows how long. It looks like a good one, too. I have to find a wrench to get it on the bike. Because it screws into the rear view mirror, into the rear view mirror um, holder. You know where it attaches to the bike. Um, I'm going to hold the, I'm going to try and hold it where you can see what's behind me more. Because uh, you probably didn't see that guy coming up behind me. It was quite hot. deserve to. Also, I would have noticed him if I didn't help me in that right. Anyway, so I got this uh, mount for the foam, and it's, it's too bad I didn't have it on today because uh, the little trip up to Maldives Cafe is a pretty cool trip, and I really wanted to, to take it then, but uh, take the video then. But I'll do that. Now, I don't think I can talk into the thing because, uh, the, you know, the mic on the earphones doesn't work that well. Um, the Oreo ice cream is pretty good. Anywho. Uh, yeah, so hopefully... I'll get that on tomorrow. I think the guy across the street might have a wrench. He's always messing with bicycles. There's, he owns a little shop. He actually owns a lot more than that. Somebody said he owns half the island. But, I don't know, but he, he's got a little, uh, a little uh, uh, coffee shop. Everything's a coffee shop here. Most places are not really like, focused on coffee. Yeah, a lot of places are not. It says coffee shop, but people I almost sit sitting there drinking beer and sometimes tea. But uh, anyway, he's got a little uh, bi biking group, cycling group that comes by every morning. And he's always out there with them. He's working on a... Uh, <clears throat> working on their uh, bikes and stuff, so I was like, hmm. Gary said, oh, he'll probably have a wrench. <laughs> mm. That was a little bar back there, standing bar. I've got good beer. Imported beers, and they rotate the stuff on draft and stuff like that. We kind of place that has sour beer, which I really like. It was so funny. Gary's like a, you know, a beer Hanoi type drinker, which is fine. But he does, he's not, he doesn't really go for like the high end beers. So we went over there one time and I told him I was gonna have one of the expensive, you know, uh, sour beers. He's like, oh, I'll try it. He's like, okay. <laughs> he did not like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't finish it. He's like, yeah, <laughs> that is not your kind of beer. He's on the beer kind of sore. He just likes to drink the beer. Actually, he does, and I don't think he likes to drink it that much. <clears throat> but it's kind of a thing in China, you know, you gotta go out and drink for business. Still a, a big thing. 
I don't know if it is in the U.S. I don't care what they're doing. <laughs> they don't might be to business parties. Um, anyway. I'm going to put this back on. I'm not, not joking that the air is bad. Actually, I don't know if you can see how bad it is. It doesn't look as bad as it did earlier today. See how hazy it is? That building in the distance. It may have gotten better. It doesn't look as bad as it did earlier. I'm going to pass my coffee lady. She's going to think I'm coming for coffee. Understandably so. I usually am. But I'm skipping it for now. I may go have coffee later tonight or I may just have coconut before I go to bed. It's probably not a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Alright, anywho, where I was, I'm going to put that mount on and I'm going to, next time I go somewhere after that. I'm going to put the phone on and <clears throat> let it record the trip. Because, uh, you yeah, know, it's kind of a fun thing, I think. But I'm not sure how I'll, how I'll uh, work that. Because, I mean, I can't really talk into it. So it'll basically just be you. Maybe I'll, um, I'll record it and then do a voiceover. Since I'm doing it with the old phone, that shouldn't be too much trouble. I'm just going to my old editing software. Um, not, not sure if it can handle it, you know, because it freezes now, my man. But, uh, hmm. But maybe I'll just do that. And that'll make a nice, easy post. You can tell you about the day. So, oh, I talked this long and I haven't mentioned what I was supposed to be doing today and then what I did get done. Um, I've, uh, so I did sign up for Zoom. I mentioned that, which is for the class, but I did not find the um, uh, curriculum software. I mean, it's all on my computer, like I've pulled it up, but I haven't really like picked it or downloaded anything. So anyway, that's not much progress, is it? But it stays not over and I don't really have anything else to do today, so I may head back upstairs and uh, do that now. Yeah, I don't have anything else to do. Um, yeah, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed our little walk around the island. I like to do it every now and again. I didn't really get it outdoor exercise today because the air was bad. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I smoked five cigarettes just now. <laughs> just from walking around and talking. When it gets really bad, you can actually tell it. That's one reason why, long term, I don't really want to stay in Hanoi. Um, you know, it's fun as a city, but uh, I'm thinking I should spend the rest of my life on a beach resort. <laughs> Don't you think that's a good idea? That's after I make my millions of dollars, of course. Uh, <clears throat> doing what? I don't know. Terry's always got an idea of, uh, you know, his new business he's going to do. He was showing me the, uh, these things they do, the, the mean... These the Myanmaris, I don't know what you call it, people. I'm look that up. People from Myanmar. So these um, movie stars from Myanmar go online and uh, basically sell. They have like Zoom meetings that are um, like a you know Mary Kay party or a Tupperware party or something, where they're convincing these people to buy stuff, uh, which I think is really strange. Uh, but, probably what Mary Kay should be doing right now. So if you have any Mary Kay friends, if that even still exists, uh, then, uh, yeah, tell them to get on Zoom. They're probably already doing it. <laughs> but, yeah. But these are movie stars that do it. So they're selling a lot, apparently. Anyway, talk to you guys tomorrow.